What if we could create the ideal society, the perfect nation? in our backyard. Without the resources to fund our nation, that question lingered for 10 long years until 1998 when the Republic of Gallipoli was born. What happened in 1998, Mr. Wilson? Well, it began with a tragedy, as most great things do, with the death of our our in-laws. It began with uh, a tragedy, uh, as most great things do, with the death of a dear relative who left us a ranch. I set to work on a constitution, and within a year, we had our nation. Grant, it's Raymond. You alone? Grant. Morning, Raymond. Welcome to Gallipoli. I fix your coffee? No, this won't take long. Good. I got a real busy day. Of course you do. You see, we started redoing the backyard, putting in a new pool and everything. I did see that. You run it by the fascists? Yeah, I went by the county office. Oh, they have no authority. They pulled up this survey. Seems that your fence is 10 feet into my property. Those surveys are out of date. They don't include treaties made by me and the previous owner. These treaties ran down anywhere? They were gentlemen's agreements between me and Mr. McGregor. So there's no proof? How's my word? Listen, man, I really hate to do this, but we're squeezing in that rock waterfall, and that pump system needs more space than a golf course. We could really use this land. You declaring war? I'm coming to you as a neighbor trying to work this out peacefully so we don't need to get the court involved. Whose court? The Republic of Gallipoli is a sovereign nation. You're American, same as me, man, no matter what flag you put out front. Listen, don't be coming to my property, my nation, and telling me what I am or what I ain't. Easy, Grant. I'm just saying legally, you're a citizen. I want to fix this in a neighborly way. Neighborly way? Is that it? All right, I'll tell you what, neighbor. You want my land? You want my property? You're going to have to take it. (laughs) This isn't one of your war games, Grant. I'll take you to court if I have to. (laughs) All right. Raymond, you just stepped into a cow for you. ain't never getting out your rug. What's that even mean, man? You ready for war? Because you're going to get it. You're here for my lawyer. You're here for my 45. Savannah! Savannah! I'm busy! In my office now! Yes, Daddy? Did you take my pen? Which one? My signature pen. Do not touch my personal property unless I give you explicit permission. You're supposed to play with toys. That is a replica model. Do you know how many hours it took me to build that? 
That's not some toy you find at a store. You got it on Amazon? No, I... Where's my pen? This one? Damn it, Savannah. This is my signature pen. I wrote our constitution with this pen. This is part of our history. It's a rollerball with Elvish on the side. That's Latin. You know what it says? Ot vincere, ot mori. Conquer or die. Our national motto. Well, mine is live out loud. This isn't a joke. Are you sure? Do you have any respect for the Republic of Gallipoli? Why would I? All it does is kill my social life. Well, maybe if your deadbeat friends can't respect our nation, they shouldn't be your friends. Well, that kind of rules out everyone, except a few gun nuts and total weirdos. What about that Henderson boy? Bobby Henderson? He got expelled for bringing a knife to school. I'm sure you had a reason. Yeah, he was angry and desperate for attention. Sounds familiar. Okay, one more word. And you can say goodbye to summer classes. You don't need community college hack to be a photographer. He isn't. Two like... words, that's it. Goodbye, school. I wasn't disrespecting you. No, you contradicted me. That's disrespect, plain and simple. So no one can disagree with you about anything? Watch it. Or what? You'll burn my books? You will respect me and your country, right? Instead of taking photographs of ashtrays and fruit bowls, you'll spend the summer with me and your brother. I'm not doing your stupid exercises. No, you'll film them. We need a new recruitment video. You can't make me do this. Watch me. Mom! Dear Lord, thank you for all the blessings you have given us. And please, let them be enough. Next thing I know, Tammy Gonzalez herself is down at my ranch, telling me where my cattle can go, what kind of feed to give them, how I can use my land. See, now that ain't none of her business. <laughs> That's exactly her business. Regulate the hell out of us so some soup can come and buy us out. Yeah, but I mean, she's supposed to be working for us, right? We voted her in, didn't we? Oh, no, no, not me, no. Last time I voted was for Reagan. Jeez. <laughs> she's wrong. But they all do. You know, it's not just one man, one woman. It's a whole damn system. This country used to be a place where, you know, you build a life, buy a property, have a family, honest day for honest pay. Now they got us so tied up in layoffs and loans and regulations. Lucky if you can even see straight, much less build a life. You like being free, don't you, Jim? I do. How long have you been herding cattle? 36 years. You think some city slicker with new boots knows more about raising cattle than you? No. Of course not. You know, a man's got a choice. He can either take the hand he's dealt and hope the dealer doesn't have an ace up his sleeve, or he can leave, start his own game. That's not a real choice. But what, what you're doing, you're... What I'm doing is making myself a goddamn life. You ever want to see what real freedom looks like, Jim? You come on by. Hey, put his drinks on me. No, you don't need to do that. Call it diplomacy, you know, keep things friendly at the border. Now, Grant, I already told you twice. That's legal tender. That's recognized by 13 nations around the world and two online markets. Yeah, well, we take cash. That is cash. American. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you a good exchange rate. Five Nortons of the dollar. Usually it's three to one. I'll tell you what. Now you come back with some real money or I'm gonna call the sheriff. How's that sound? You ready to start an international incident of two whiskeys? I'm thinking about it. 
Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll cover it. I'll, I'll pay for his whiskey. No need. Keeping it, keeping it uh, friendly. Right? Right. Come on by anytime you want, Jim. It's still too low. Why don't we just go inside? You know, I wrote this as a desk piece. No, we want the natural light. It opens it up. Your office looks too serious. It, it is serious. It's the State of the Union. OK, I'm ready. Just do whatever you're going to do. All right. Action? Action. Dear friends, countrymen, and enemies, I'm Admiral Grant T. Wilson, the Supreme Leader of Gallipoli. What are you doing with your hands? I'm illustrating my point. I'm trying to connect with the audience. That's you know? not how it reads. How about, how about like, like that? <sighs> the fat cat fascists in Washington are betraying their own people. They refuse to recognize the nation of Gallipoli. They're, they're, their line? Tyranny. Tyranny. Didn't you write this? Yes, I wrote it, but I wrote it as a desk piece, it's okay? It's like four sentences. I know, I know, I wrote it. If you value your heritage, your freedom, you will make a stand. Kyle, you're moving. I need a break. No, you don't. My arms are tired. Shut up and hold it straight. We're almost done. <sighs> don't breathe. Line. The fat cat. Fat cat. No, I said that. Join us today in the nation of Gallipoli for a oh, fuck. brighter. Fuck it. Let's just go inside. It's only ten feet. I know, I told them. And did you hear them today? Shouting and firing off rifles at who knows what? <laughs> it's wild country. <laughs> Quit talking like Clint Eastwood. You're from New York. They're a different breed out here. People that didn't like the rules of city life, so they went where they wouldn't be bothered. They're bothering me. It's okay, V. That nut next door, he's nothing to worry about. What about the sun? What about him? Babe, come on, the dishes can wait. Kyle isn't back. Well, if you roll, you know, an attack, say, uh, Venezuela, I, I'll roll for him. Or she could attack Europe and you roll for yourself. She can make up her own mind. Any news from the border? All clear. Thank goodness. All in my turn. Smart. Time to take over the world. How? We got you surrounded. For now. Why don't you stop being stubborn and accept what's coming and run away like you always do? Grant. <laughs> Just fooling around with her. Well, I'd be fine if you two stopped picking on me. Yeah, there's no rule against alliances. Mom, do you want to start an alliance? I don't know, honey. Come on, we have Europe surrounded. If you hit Iceland and head south, then I can come through Ukraine and we'll take down the Eastern Bloc. Hey, no table talk. Is there a rule against it? We don't have that psycho-psychic connection like you and Kyle. We have to use words. I don't see anything about talking. Conspire all you like, it won't do you a lick of good. We will. Well? You gonna quit stalling and play the damn game? Mom, are you with me? Yep. This is mutiny. How? We're enemies. Uh, that's rebellion. Ukraine, defend yourself. Savannah. This is your last chance. You can't come back from this. You attacked me. I'm defending myself. Bullshit! Language. Two down, three to go. Whoa. 
I got that myself, thank you. Maybe it's time for a break. Dessert, anyone? After we take your up. You guys are just a horde of commies. You know, we defeated you once, we'll get you again. What does that make you, the Nazis? You know, Australia's not that well defended. Ukraine, defend yourself. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that. Jesus fucking Christ. Grant, do not take the Lord's name in vain. I'm sorry, it just came out. Only one left. Uh, careful. Properly. Roll them. No spin. On the table. Hey, I'm not doing anything. I must be lucky. Are you serious? It was one country. If you don't respect the rules, we won't play. Who wants pie? Think that's deep enough? You know, it's getting awfully hot out here, Molly. Why don't you go inside and catch a breeze? I found a nice breeze. Hey, why don't you grab me a cold one, you know, boost company morale. Drinking on the job. What would the Better Business Bureau say about that? Those sons of bitches don't know anything. Oh, she knows all about it. Just, you know, keep, keep working on the edge there. Oh. Is that why you hired me, to get drunk and talk shit? It wasn't the testimonials. Right now, you got two options. Is that any way to talk to your boss? You can shut your yap and let us finish, or you can give us half day's pay and we'll go home. If you're waiting for an encore, I'm uh, afraid you're out of luck. Oh, um, I'm just enjoying the quiet. Mm. Certainly was a spirited Bible study today. I'm sorry if I spoke too freely. Nothing to apologize for. Sometimes I wish we had more searchers, less believers.
in all, you haven't missed a sermon in five months. They've been a real comfort. You set up for Sunday school, lead the potluck. I want to serve any way I can. And I thank you for it, I do. You've given so much love to this community. But... But... Uh, I wonder if, well, more of that love might be needed at home. Pastor. It's just we haven't seen Grant or Kyle since Christmas, and word gets around. It's hard to get them in except for the holidays. Then I'll come to them. I'd be happy to drop by anytime you'd like, provide any guidance I can. Thank you, Pastor. I... Bless you. I bet they're listening right now through that phone of yours, reading all your emails, tracking every video you ever watched. They, they're not for the people, by the people, they're against them. Yeah, they, they scare you to the polls, right? And then they, 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 they fucking uh, 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 put you in debt, and then they, they line you up for the shakedown and then the slaughter. Yeah. And that's just you in this country, you American people. The rest of us, in the world, we got it worse. Vietnam, Iraq, Cuba. God, you boys, you know, you just can't stop meddling. You talk democracy, free markets. Meanwhile, you make sure no one else has a say. The founding fathers, man, right? That shit rolls downhill. They were bullied. They were run right out of town, right? Bullied completely. They had a chance to break the cycle. But no, they turn bully too. What's the count, Rick? Well, you're going, I guess, you're four, maybe five deep. That ain't the bourbon talking. That's righteous indignation right there. Yeah, well, three puts you over the legal limit. You look like I'm driving. It's a truck out front, isn't it? Yeah, with my boy in it, waiting to drive me home. Anything else, Sheriff? It's a dirty ain't you got anything better to do than harass foreign dignitaries? I'll let you know when I see one. Hey, why don't you quit all this, uh, them and us talk? Where were you born? Hell, where are you right now? I'll tell you the truth. I don't know. I'm mean, supposed to be the land of the free, but it sure don't seem that way. Keep it up, Grant. Waiting for a reason. That's it, man. Scare the innocent, protect the powerful. Don't you get tired of this bullshit? Pretending to be someone special when you're really just a sad, sad nobody? Ain't you got another black boy to shoot? on me like that. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I can't turn off the training. Hey, I thought we were having ribs. We are. Braids, short ribs, and a red wine reduction. Short ribs? Uh, goofy things, the crazy. This is from a Bobby Flay cookbook. You like him. I don't like anything you're cooking, babe. Go on, take a seat and stop eating the salad. Mmm. Mm. 
How'd it go at the Pattersons? Ah, uh, we put down some pipe and she paid. Did you ask about their deck? <sighs> hey, we got enough online sales. I don't need to be begging for loose work. I know, but most of the handyman jobs get done over the summer. Candace will be fine. Where's Kyle now? Studying for the SATs, I hope. He's in the combat simulator. He can't play video games until he studies. It's no game. That's the closest he'll come to real combat until he enlists or a Muslim opens fire at an Albertsons. Grant, the SATs are important, especially when he only has a homeschool diploma. Only? Hell, he's learned more here than whatever the hell they're teaching down the road. And real stuff that he can use, not just empty facts of forgetting a year. Colleges have to compare him with other students. That's the whole point of a standardized test. No, the whole point is to shove more money into the ivory tower. Maybe, but college is still a wonderful opportunity. I'm not going to college. <gasps> Y'all need to stop sneaking around. They can't help it, it's in our blood. <laughs> Dinner will be ready in 20 minutes. I'm hungry now. Patience is a virtue. And confidence is king. The boy knows what he wants and he takes it. Kyle, you should at least apply in case you change your mind. Yeah, you know, if the whole world changes, you can go to the community quack house. That's not the same as leaving and having a real college experience. Oh, what? Smoking a doobie in a beanbag, growing a beard, protesting the meal plan? It's more than that. It's making new friends, trying new things, finding yourself. Well, that sounds dangerous. College is for pussies. Hey, you know your mom doesn't like that word. Sorry, sir. Think of all the fun you could have, the things you'd learn, the people you'd meet. I learn everything I need here See? on my computer. Don't you want to go somewhere new? If I go anywhere, I'm joining the Marines. Please, just think about it, okay? For me. Don't worry about it, babe. The boy will be fine. What the hell are you doing pointing a loaded weapon at me? It's a squirt gun. What if I had mistaken you for a burglar and, and shot you? I had to show you I'm ready. Send me out there, Admiral, and the best scout you got. All right. Let's see how ready you are. Give me that rucksack. Night vision goggles. Rope. Tactical knife, serrated edge? Yes, sir. Compass. Zip ties. What's this? A real gun? Why would you need a real gun? Coyote comes at me in the brush. Raymond spots me, grabs a rifle. Sheriff drives by, mistakes me for a burglar and opens fire. This is a stealth operation. You fire this thing off, your cover's blown to hell. What if it gets rough? Bring a taser. Sir, I'm not going out there naked. I need a gun. Absolutely not. An airsoft gun? They're silent. Fine. A small one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Tranquilizers. Secure that gun. Stow it away, okay? <sighs> Engage only if fired upon. Observe and report. Got it? Yes, sir. See what kind of progress they're making on this pump system and what we'd need to take out, hypothetically. While I'm in there. No. Okay. This is a recon mission. Sir. All due respect. That's not a good start. What's the point of this mission? We know the make and the model, so I have the specs. How? Everything's online. No. 
How do you know they're making the model? Found the installation order in their trash. You go through the neighbor's trash often? Only when it's important. Good work, soldier. We need your vigilance. Now more than ever. Dismissed. Jesus Christ. Another point for San Francisco, the nightlife. <laughs> you said you want to settle down someplace nice and quiet with plenty of land. Well, we got it. I think there's a reason this was on the market. Oh, man, it's nice here. Just takes some getting used to. Are you used to someone poking through your trash and wandering around your backyard? Vanessa, we lived in San Francisco. Okay, that was different. <laughs> Call the cops. I'm not calling the cops. Do you want me to do it? He's a kid. Oh, okay. Tomorrow morning, I head down to the court and get things going. Once Grant receives an official summons, he'll come to his senses. That sounds wonderful. No, we, we tried. We really did. And summers are really busy here. I can't do that. I can't leave them alone. After the third night of burnt barbecue, the kids will starve, and you know how Grant gets. I, I didn't mean it like that. He's been better. Really. Good. I have to go, Carol. Kyle just walked in. Sounds good. Love you, too. What were you doing out there? Target practice. No, before that, near Raymond's fence. That's classified. Kyle, I'm your mother. Sorry, Admiral's orders. I'm also the vice president. Yes, ma'am. Constitutionally speaking, I have a right to all military intelligence. National emergency. Emergency, what emergency? That's classified too. Kyle. I was measuring land for a guard tower. Next to Raymond's fence. Wait. Why don't you take $20 and go into town tonight, have some fun? Maybe see a movie? Hang out with Trevor? I, I haven't seen him around in a while. Trevor's busy. Oh. And I don't need to pay for the movies. I know, but you might meet some new people. Maybe a nice girl. I can't. Tonight. I gotta go. Spin. I know how to do it. Uh. Maybe skip the color guard routine. All right, let, let's just start with the dialogue first. Get behind me, Kyle. 
No, no get to, to, off to the side. Behind. Hold that rifle up like you mean business. This is coming off a little Al-Qaeda. Well, they got results, didn't they? I guess. Can we start? You'll be receiving specialized training from one of the finest military minds in the world. I studied combat history at Cal State Bakersfield. I served three years in the Merchant Marines, and I've devoted my civilian life to research and field testing. Every version, every bit of specialized training we offer from knife throwing to scuba diving. Good. Will be instructed by me, Admiral Grant Wilson. We need you. You don't have to do your own freeze frame. God damn it, do not interrupt a take. Yeah. Should I do some push-ups? Those are the dailies. What the hell are you doing? Use the door. That's not in the Constitution. It's common decency. Are those the dailies? Look, don't talk like that. That's not what they're called. On a real production, this is a long shot of you idiots jerking off in the backyard. I'd rather be jerking off than behind the camera. That's gross. You started it, and you couldn't do half those exercises. Oh yeah, raising one leg and your rifle at the same time looks really tough. You wouldn't last a day in the field. Neither would you. This needs to look cooler. Can you add some explosions? Okay, that's stupid and a waste of time. I'd like to sleep tonight. It's important for the good of the nation. Would you shut up about your stupid nation? It's your nation too. I'm an American, not a Calipoloni. Calipolino. This is all just some fantasy world that dad makes us all live in. If you hate it so much, why don't you just leave? I will. Love you too. Kyle tells me you're having trouble with the recruitment video. Sure am. What? Kyle. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Okay. This video is very important to all of us, okay? It's the story of the Republic. Why we started, uh, where we're going, how we've triumphed, what the future will bring. And you want me to say all of that with you two doing push-ups in the dirt? And some voiceover. That's impossible. No, nothing's impossible. That's the magic of movie making. <laughs> That's not how it works. They have green screens and teams of designers and footage of interesting people doing interesting things. Right there, that, those trees behind us. That's green. Can you use that? Okay, please don't touch the screen. You're smudging it. And no, I can't. Why not? Look, we're not asking very much of you, Savannah. We just want some tasteful explosions, maybe a symbol of the American threat, like a, a demon eagle. Zombie Uncle Sam. That's good. Oh, that's good. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Sure, that's one of the presets. We need a symbol, too. No, 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 no. I'm the symbol. That's right. Yeah. Can you give me a flaming sword? Me, too. No, that would confuse people. Okay, look. I should have the sword. You're asking for an entire new movie on top of the basic stuff we have. Yeah, so? It's going to take forever. Well, then you're wasting time.
Grant. I'm reading. It's important. So is this. Did you know that the U.S. government was behind the John Wilkes Booth thing? Grant, I'm serious. Go on. I'm worried about Savannah. So am I. Is that all? You're being too hard on her. Babe. I'm worried she'll leave again. This time for good. Well, I know. We'll just have to lock the doors. What, and forbid her from leaving the house? Yep, until she learns some manners. Take a year or less if you let me use force. She's our daughter, not a prisoner. She lives under my roof, she eats my food, she wears my clothes, you know. I made that girl. If I don't own her, I got an 18-year lease. We made her, and she's no one's property. Well, not according to the law, I mean... She is, for two more years. Grant, I'm serious. I can tell. But he almost done, because I found this amazing theory about JFK and the teachers' union. Grant. I'm serious. Come on. It tracks. The, the damn Patsy was arrested in the book suppository. Do you know how long I spent embroidering those pillows? And? Hours and hours on each one. And every day I set them up just right, and you waltz in and throw them off the bed. Babe. Just take it easy on Savannah, okay? I don't want to lose her. I'd never let that happen. You're my queen. Good. Well? You're my admiral. There. <laughs> days of sugar. Not for me. Oh, look at this fuck boy. Hi, Trevor. Hey, fuck boy. Elsie. Daddy's got you running errands now? About to blow up a dam or some bullshit? No. What are you here to do? You're a real fucking soldier now, huh? Better than being pussy whipped. Come on. Luther's not worth that. Listen to Elsie. Do everything else she says. 
Now you shut the fuck up. There's some weirdo loser who's never touched a girl and probably never will. Hey! Unless your freak sister breaks you off some. You fuck! Back off, you fucking psycho! Come on, Kyle, let's go. That was so stupid. And kind of sweet. Also a little impressive. I mean, one punch. That's why they call me Rambo. Don't. Always draw the first blood. Oh my god. Do you remember those ammo belts that you made with the toilet paper rolls? Dad never let me have the real thing. You were six. Did he tell you about the court summons? What court summons? Sweetheart, you have to eat something. I'm not hungry. At least have a salad. You think that hunger strike's hurting anybody but you? That hippie crap never worked. I'm not doing a hunger strike. Why is Sean strike? You know, I ran into Your sister Betsy. wants to run away. What? I never said that. Well, then what? What is it, the water pressure and flow still in town? Grant. <laughs> hey, come on, we're just having fun. Where are you going? My room. Sit down. Let's talk about this after dinner. No, we'll talk about it now. She needs to learn loyalty and respect. I give respect to people who deserve it, not... The Admiral? Can you just call him Dad? We live in the fucking desert. Military rank doesn't depend on station. It depends on time served and... Excellence proven. You gave that to yourself. As president, there's a clear separation of powers and your doubt. There's no doubt. I know you're full of shit. You're gonna shut your goddamn mouth until you can speak to me with respect. Grant. Quit standing up for her. Quit letting her go like that. Where do you think she learned this? Mom has nothing to do with this. She spoiled you rotten, so now you're just, you're just so, so... Intelligent? No. Decent? Sorry I'm not a psycho in training like Kyle. What's that supposed to mean? I think we've all said a few things we regret. So Quit trying to make peace. We're past that. What's that supposed to mean? Means you're a traitor. How? Stealing state secrets. Reading mail that isn't yours. What mail? Kyle! Sorry, I had to. Don't apologize, son. You did the right thing. You? I don't even know what to say to you. Hell, I'd throw you in the brig if I had one. We can build one. You're both insane. And you're a liar. This is a house of honesty, and you're a regular Rosenberg. Are you kidding? We're liars. All of us. Kyle thinks this is real. Mom pretends like we're okay. And you're just a grown man who never left his tree fort. Savannah, please. No, this is good. We should get it all out. Yeah, let the snowflake say what's on her mind. What is it, you emotionally scarred because we never got you a pink convertible? Did you tell Mom about the court summons? Grant, what is she talking about? Nothing, just another letter from Raymond. No, not from Raymond. The court sent it, a legal summons. When were you going to tell me? There's nothing to tell. Raymond's bluffing. I'm going to call him on it. Simple as that. Our real worry is here, this spy, going through things that ain't hers. This is serious. They could put you in jail for contempt. On whose authority? If you went over and apologized... Apologize for what? For what? For standing up for my God-given right to stand up and defend for my nation? I'm the one whose rights are being infringed upon. I'm being stripped of my land without due process. Isn't that the point of court, due process? That kangaroo court in town is nothing but hostility. Outright bullshit. Sounds familiar. Where the hell are you going? My room? Unless the Inquisition is still happening. We could all use a break. All right. This isn't a truce, it's just a ceasefire. Whatever.
We're on total lockdown tonight. Alarms, sensors, everything. I'm fine. Are you sure? No. You know, your father didn't mean it. Doesn't mean anything, he says. And he's always talking. And Kyle only gets to talk because he repeats whatever Dad says. They both have strong beliefs. Do you think he believes any of it? Like freedom from government? Fighting the liberal conspiracy? Whoever it is he hates this week. Sweetie, he's your father. I know. That's exactly why I need to do something. I mean, I can't turn out like Kyle. He's like a perfect clone, only worse because Kyle actually believes it. I mean, Kyle's gonna die or get arrested and dad doesn't even care. He just wants to play president. It's been an emotional night for everyone, okay? If you just get a good night's sleep, you're gonna wake up and feel much better. Mom. This is serious. I need to leave. For my own safety. Don't talk like that, okay? I would never let anything happen to you. I know. And trust me, your time will come. But if you leave now, it'll hurt too much and you can't take that hurt back. Mom, don't you get it? Don't you know why I have to leave? You will always be my daughter no matter what happens. I love you like nothing else, but your father isn't as forgiving. You know, he hasn't spoken to Uncle Bill in 14 years. See, oh, he's such an asshole. Language. Sorry. He's strong-willed. Always has been. You know, the night we first met, I told him I was voting for Clinton and he wouldn't let me leave the bar until I promised to vote Bush. Did you? No. But it doesn't matter. If you let him win, he'll forget all about it. Mom, you're just enabling him. I'm keeping this family together.
Was it the uniform? It didn't hurt. Or the power. I mean, it must be fun to play vice president. He wasn't president when we met. He was a John Deere salesman with a few crazy ideas. And one of them came true? Not overnight. He lost his job and got more serious, put up the flag, started going to conventions, but things really picked up the last few years. He um, found some, well, militant groups online, and they buy more courses and beer koozies than we can come up with. Isn't that the American dream? I suppose. Do you think he'll go for it? You put all that behind us. I'll talk to him tonight. He's proud, but I think you'll see the wisdom. How you enjoying the local brew? It's good. Different. That's right. You can't find beer like this in Frisco. Yeah, a lot of flavor here. Maybe a little bitter for my taste, though. <laughs> you still talking about beer? <laughs> Who's <laughs> got you boys? It's like, oh, just gabbing, that's all. Yeah, nothing worth repeating. I must have been a doozy. No, no, you got that wrong. I don't know. Raymond here's a pretty funny guy, right? Aren't you? He's a real, real wise cracker. Take it easy, Grant. No, no, it's a, it's a compliment. You know, it's a nice thing to say. You, you here to talk, man? Well, I was here to drink, but you know, you seem to have taken over this flea shack too. I'm not taking over anything. Sit down, and I'll, I'll buy you a, brew, a drink. I'm fine with yeah, it. it's all right, it's all right. Oh, he says it's all right, so it's all right. It's OK. Everything's good, because he says it. Why don't you just say what's on your mind or let us drink in peace? Why don't we do that? That's such a nice way to tell me to fuck off. Hey, hey, no. No, 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 I heard him. Did you hear him? I heard him the same as you heard. You did hear him, right? I heard him the same as you. I know exactly what he meant. What else you got? Well, you know what? I'll be happy to talk property lines here and now. I got no interest in court. You're the one who got the, the law involved. You didn't exactly give me a choice, did you? What choice did you give me? Huh? Listen. You go ahead. You know? Tell it your life. And just go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll just take whatever scraps are left. I'm talking 10 feet. That's all. How's that all? Just a little minor invasion, a little incursion, a little slice of my nation, my homeland. Why don't you see if Jim wants a slice, too? You think you're a judge you go for that? I, I got nothing to do with this. I know. You're too goddamn dumb, Jim, to trust me. All right, no, Grant, it's time to go. Pour me another. It's time to go. Pour me one. Listen, I I'll come by tonight and we'll talk this out, OK? One step on my property, and I'll declare it an act of war. You missed dinner. I stopped by next door, had a nice chat with Vanessa. I don't trust the word she says. You know, we can shoot this tomorrow and just take some time to think it over and maybe sleep it off. No, goddammit, we're gonna go right now while I'm feeling it. Feeling what exactly? This is completely insane, like a thousand steps too far. You dare to challenge me? You dare to insult me? You dare to Kyle, dare. this is gonna be a crime. Which one? Depends how far it goes, but at least a few misdemeanors. Then we have to make it extra convincing. Make sure he doesn't snitch. Do we still have that dynamite? Okay, that's it. I'm not going to jail for you clowns. Get fucking back behind that camera, and you fucking press play. Follow me. Keep that camera right on me. Give me that knife. Ha! Raymond, we're not afraid of you, and we never will be. Give up your little game while you still have what's important, your life. If 
you call the cops, that'll be the last call you ever make. Next time I won't miss. Is that real? Grant. Hey, Matt. What's this? We have a guest. Is that Raymond already? Good morning, Grant. Oh, Jesus Christ, do we have to do this now? Do not. It's all right, Candace. He's a troubled man, and trouble leads to blasphemy. Is that why you're here to cure me of my cursing? I'm here to talk, that's all. About what? Whatever you like. Oh, right. Can I get some coffee first? We haven't seen you at services in some time. Well... We got the same book here. <laughs> Don't you miss the community, though? The gathering of the spirit. Not that spirit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I saw your video from last night. What? How? Candace showed it to me. What the hell? I couldn't let you send that to Raymond. She did the right thing. The threats you made. If Raymond would have given that to the police, you'd be in jail already. If Raymond saw that video, he never would have called the police. You were convincing. But either road leads to more trouble. Instead of making war, why don't you try the Lord's way and love thy neighbor? You know, if your pal Jesus saw our world, he'd cut that turn the other cheek crap real quick. Grant. Hey, you know, he thought Sodom was something. Try San Francisco. I'll pray for you. Don't waste your breath.
What the hell? Do not enter my office without knocking. It's not in the Constitution. Is there a reason you're here? What is this map? An invasion? You are a spy, aren't you? First you steal my tape and give it to your mother, now you're snooping through my office well, again. Well, it's not hard when you're passed out drunk. God damn it, I will not be spoken to like that by my own daughter. Well then stop all the bullshit and do the right thing. Are you seriously gonna risk everything for 10 feet of land? What is the right thing? Hmm? Grovel at the feet of that, that, that smug bastard? You don't have to talk to Raymond. Just go to the court, tell them it was a mistake, and then move the fence back. There was no mistake. Me and McGregor had an agreement. Well, if you had proof. Since when does a man need proof beyond his own word? Since always. Sir, I'm ready to take the fight to Raymond. What, you're a spy too? Just doing my duty. What are my orders? Do you guys hear yourselves? You're like one step away from mailing out anthrax. Packed, ready to go? Yes, sir. All right. Under cover of darkness, we're going to show Raymond what we mean. What do we mean? To take out that pump for good. This is highly sensitive material. Yes, sir. I know. Grant, we need to talk. Dismissed. Savannah told me your plan. You have to stop this war and settle things in court. What war? If you don't go, they'll decide against us and take that land back. And more for the trouble. We could lose everything. They can't do that. They can and will. We're cash poor. And after the third mortgage, the bank owns more of the house than we do. Cash poor? What about the savings account? That's for college, for Savannah and Kyle. They don't need half that money, if that. How many drinks have you had? Not enough. Speaking as vice president. What? This is a national emergency, and you are unfit to lead. Oh, you're going to impeach me? You don't have the votes. I want you to act up to your title, to behave like a president, not a tyrant. You don't think I'm presidential? <laughs> it's okay. Neither do I. I'm more of a philosopher king. Whatever you call yourself, you are failing your country. Better to die free than live a slave. Where are your chains? Where is your burden? You want to know where my burden is? You want to see what's holding me back? Go look in the goddamn mirror. You don't mean that. I could have dealt with Raymond if it weren't for you. And Savannah? You've been poisoning that little girl's head from the start. This isn't about her or Raymond or me, is it? This is about you. Like it always is. Yeah? Just keep talking and I'll, I'll tell you what it's about. I'll show you what it's about. Grant, don't. Keep talking. Candace. Babe. It's you. I knew you weren't really one of us, but I didn't think you'd betray the Republic. Excuse me? Attempted desertion? Espionage? Exposing state secrets? You mean because I showed Mom your insane video? This goes way deeper than one leak. It's a pattern of sabotage and disrespect. I'm not playing your stupid game. It's not a game! Are you sure? Now can you just leave me alone? Because I need to find out what happens when Dad fucks everything up. Kyle, go see if it's dark enough. Yes, sir.
You think I'm gonna fuck everything up? It's a safe bet. <laughs> fuck you! Honey, are you okay? No. <gasps> oh my God, what happened? I told him the truth. Your father? That son of a bitch. Where's Kyle? I don't know, he just left all geared up for something. <gasps> no, no, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't leave him no. alone. We have to wait. What are you talking about? We're getting you out of here tonight. You're coming with me. I can't. Mom, why? What can you do here? Kyle needs me. Mom, please. I can't leave him alone with your father. How was the mission? What mission? That was a goddamn snipe hunt. Watch your tone. You sent me out there with a dud. Why? To run me tired and shut me up? Explosive didn't work? You know it didn't. They must have knocked a casing. It slipped the wire loose. I hit the detonator and nothing happened. So I went back to check, see if I said it right. Sure enough, I was detonating a bag full of newspapers. There must be some mistake. Cover of darkness. Right, Pop? Good work, soldier. Mission accomplished. This is the good stuff. Pure as it gets. And straight up, just like God intended. Mm, goes down, smooth as you like. I'm not gonna toast myself. Once you get past the burn, you and Bourbon will be fast friends. This was a test? And you passed with flying colors. Keep this up, you'll earn a promotion. To what? How's Staff Sergeant sound? Pointless. We don't have a staff. Not yet. And Corporal comes after Private. Oh, that's in peacetime. We're a nation at war. Wow, easy, soldier. You got patrol duty tonight. I'm done. I can see that. No, with you and your bullshit. Hey, watch what you say next. Why? Nothing matters to you, right? This bond's a fucking fake just like you. Stand down, soldier. I'm not your soldier. You're not my admiral. You can't leave. You can't stop me. I can outrun you. Outfight you. Outshoot you. He didn't say how smart. It won't come to that. Kyle, thank God you're all right. Why wouldn't he be? Did you send him out there to blow up Raymond's pump? Well, nah, don't worry, he didn't do it. Because you gave me a fucking toy. Honey! Do not speak to your commanding officer without tone of voice, without disrespect. You don't deserve my respect. Oh, listen to that mouth. Your Marines would have you eating boots as soon as you got off the bus. What do you know about the Marines? I served. In the Merchant Marines, because he didn't have a gut for war. <laughs> Did you do that to her? She did it to herself. You fucking coward! Savannah, we should go. No, no. should stay. Yeah. And, and I want everybody to hear this treason. So you want to join the Marines, prove what a big man you are? I'm not proving anything. I want to fight, actually shoot people, not play in the backyard. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you want to fight? Well, why don't we just square off right now? Grant! No, no, this is good. You want a piece of your old man? Hit him, Kyle. Pop me, son. Stop it! This is you. between me and the, uh, and the boy. Oh, man, goddamn, I'm not your boy. You're my boy for the next six months. Says who? The Americans? Their laws mean nothing to you, right? What does that mean? You're still playing by their rules, living in their world. Call yourself whatever you'd like, but you're not special. You're another stupid American. I am the Admiral 
of Gallipoli. You're a dipshit, plain dresser. Whoa. I didn't mean that, you know, you surprised me. Oh. Okay, a shot for a shot, we're square. I know. Mom, go pack the car now. I mean, he needs me. We're leaving tonight. Don't hurt him anymore. I won't if he stays down. Kyle, you're coming with us. Where are you going? Aunt Carol's. Hell, you are. Mom, pack the car now. Please. Go on. What are you doing? I'm leaving the mission. Is that... Kyle, that's real dynamite. You can't do this, it's pointless, it's all bullshit. So you said? You're gonna risk everything for a plan that never made sense. What are you gonna accomplish out there? Something. I'm going to actually do something. I have to defend our nation. I thought you were done with him. I am, but this asshole's too weak to lift a finger and we have barbarians at the gate. Well, what about the Marines? They won't take you if you're arrested for domestic terrorism. That's crazy, do I look like a terrorist? Yes! Kyle! Please, don't do this. I have to. This is who I am. I know Dad's a fucking moron, but not everything is said was wrong. All we need is a few tweaks to the Constitution and a new leader with the vision. And that's you. Why not? You can be my VP. Help me rebrand everything, starting with the name Calipoli. What does that even mean? It's from Plato, kind of. And look, it's really sweet that you want me to nurse your delusions. But I'm out of here for good. So you're gonna leave and you're never gonna come back? That's the plan. Then your vote doesn't count. Kyle! Say something, you can stop him! Mm-hmm. You think she's talking him down? We'll see. I'm just tired of talking about him, worrying, trying to predict what crazy thing he'll do next. Yeah, me too. Is that why you riled him up? Let him play the big man at the bar? I was trying to settle it. You gave him a stage. <laughs> Who knows what he'll play at next? Did you hear something? Don't change the subject. No, V, I'm serious. And... Kyle! Well, nothing's happened yet, but it's about to. He has a stick of dynamite. That's right. No, my husband did. I know. Please, just send anyone you can. Sheriff, ambulances, maybe a fire engine. <gasps> you sent our son out there with a the bomb. What the hell is wrong with you? That boy's got a mind of his own. Grant, it's over. Baby, no, no, no. Whoa, it's me, okay? Let me fix it, I can fix it. Let me fix him, okay? All right? No, 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 no. Please, I love you. You're everything to me. Please. I have to do right by our kids. Your kids are gonna be fine. <gasps> no! Oh my God!
All right, listen, I don't want any trouble. It's all right, man. Eight of July. Come to Peacock? No, I, I just saw your boy at the hospital. He's out of bed already. Doc's orders be damned, huh? Right. You been to visit? No, not just yet. We're going to order something. And I'm, I'm not saying no. Oh, come on, Ray, don't make me drink alone. How'd you know I'd be here? I guess. To the death of freedom and victory over cowardice. Here's to peace. You know, Grant, I hope things work out for you, man. I, I really do. No bad. And not to speak out of turn, but you, sh you should see your boy. Well, whatever's between you, it can be fixed. All right. No, I'll bet you got an answer for everything. I should be leaving. Hey, hey, hey. Don't quit now. We're just getting somewhere. You got bottles of beer here, plenty of it, you know? Ever since you moved into the neighborhood, you know, we were all smiles, we were really neighborly. Behind that smile was a goddamn rat. You know, I don't know where you get these you ideas. Know, you just, you took everything from me. You barely left me a bottle. I, I hope you're happy with your goddamn spread. Grant, it wasn't personal. It was and my land. You wanted what was mine, and you took it. My birthright, everything. Now, if that ain't personal, I don't know what is. Look, man, I'm trying. I to... was promised the world, and now I got nothing. All right, Grant, can we no, just... No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm leaving. Hey, Ray. Yeah. How'd my wife look? Happier. Take care, Grant. Fuck you. To freedom! Every man's got a choice. He can play there again, strike out on his own, play his own game, his own rules, with his own arm.
Just treat you 